This is the 2024 Kia Seltos X line. Now in the US, this trim sits below the SX. Here in Canada, it's above it. This is the fully loaded model here in Canada, but if you're in the States, you're getting a little bit less. So you'll notice that at the bottom there, we say that the configuration isn't quite the same for the US because you also can't get the Pluton blue paint that we have on this on the X line in the US. But I wanna talk about this vehicle because we first featured the Kia Seltos back in 2021 when it launched. And here we are a few model years later with some excellent improvements. Things that we actually talked about in our two original videos on the Seltos have been fixed when it comes to this vehicle. So let's talk about what's underneath the hood on this. This has a 1.6 liter turbocharged four cylinder engine and might sound familiar, but it actually is improved over the previous pre-facelift model. This now has 195 horsepower versus the 175 on it before and 195 pound-feet of torque. The other mechanical difference for 2024 is the transmission. We had a seven speed dual clutch. Now we have a regular eight speed automatic and this is gonna be a lot better for day to day driving and commutes. You know, the seven speed is good for track performance, race cars, kind of things like that. Not so much if you're in stop and go traffic. So we've found so far that the Seltos is much smoother with an eight speed automatic. Now, what do you get when you go with this X line? Well, we're getting 18 inch glossy black wheels, black roof rails, and then the front grille and lower fascias, as well as the side rocker panels are finished in what Kia calls gunmetal gray. And I think it looks pretty sharp overall. Now, if you look back at the 21 that we did, the SX price looks on paper like it's gone up by about $9,000 Canadian. However, back when we were featuring this car before, we didn't include delivery. And the X line does sit above the SX that we featured before. So the price increase really is only about $3,000 versus the 2021 that we featured. So, you know, a couple model years, a couple changes, but there are some additions to this vehicle that make it compelling. First off, one of the things that we asked for back when we featured this originally was driver memory, which we do have. I'd mentioned it was tied in or should have been tied in with the driver profiles, and it is. So when you change your profile on the infotainment, your memory settings will change to accommodate you. Now they're pretty good, you know, the seat controls will move automatically, but the mirror controls are not tied with the automatic settings there. So you have to readjust your mirrors each time, but that's no problem overall. Kia's also updated both the exterior and the interior. Outside looks have been improved, a little bit more squared off than they were with the previous generation. Headlights have changed a little bit, and then the rear end got the biggest transformation. You can see that there's almost a full length LED light bar along the lift gate, which looks quite handsome. So this one's more of a traditional looking SUV compared to something like the new Hyundai Kona for 24, which is a little bit more sport oriented. So this one gives you slightly better SUV proportions. Interior has also gotten an update. We have dual 10.25 inch infotainment screens. They work pretty well overall, no complaints there. And they are slightly curved towards the driver, which is always a nice thing to see. Single zone automatic climate control, heated and ventilated front seats, single stage heated steering wheel, all the stuff that we would expect to find. We have a Bose audio system, and then the lights will light up based on your music, so you can change the different colors to have some little rock and roll profiles as you're driving along. So good stuff there that we saw last time we drove this. One of the other things that they've added for 2024 is a power lift gate. Now it's not something that we necessarily asked for, but we did mention that a few vehicles in this segment did offer it. So you are now getting a power lift gate, which is nice to have, especially you know, if you're buying this vehicle because you do do a lot of grocery shopping, things like that, you know, might be a little bit easier to get into it without having to open it up manually. And then the rear seat space, yeah, pretty decent overall for a subcompact, but you do get heat back there. There's heat vents in the center for the passengers as well as outboard heated seats. So if you like your passengers, they'll like you back because they'll have a little bit more comfort in our Canadian climates. Much like when we drove this back in 21, you know, the ride and overall comfort on the road is, is adequate. I mean, there's nothing special when it comes to any of these subcompacts. You do feel a little bit more of the road. You do hear a little bit more of the road as well. But again, overall, pretty much in line with everything else in the market. Aside from that, everything that we liked about the Seltos back in 2021 is still the same thing that we like about it here. And again, with those improvements, it only makes this an even more compelling offer, although the price has gone up. So as I mentioned, if you go up with this X line here in Canada, you're getting essentially just cosmetic bits with rear cross traffic assist. That's not something that you necessarily need. So I might recommend going with the SX 
save yourself a little bit of cost there and in that way the price increase over the 21s is a little bit more manageable but you are getting some extra features as i mentioned along with it so overall it's a pretty good package we do like the seltos um and one thing same thing that i noted when i drove it last time i still don't feel as comfortable here as a larger guy you can see that my arms kind of hitting the door card here not quite as comfortable as it is on some other subcompacts but for the most part you're getting what you would expect this is the size segment that we're in and it works great so good job to kia for listening not only to their customers based on feedback but also the journalists out there who've talked about some ways to improve this vehicle because it is a really compelling offering they do have a good price point and really good equipment for what you're getting out of this and it really only gets better for 2024. So as we wrap up this episode of Test Drive Snapshot on the 2024 Kia Seltos X-Line, I would like to invite you to like and subscribe to the channel and this video if you haven't done so already. Leave a comment below as we do try to get back to everybody as quickly as possible and consider becoming a member to help support this channel. Thanks for watching and until next time, take care.